Embracing the colder winter days, let's keep ourselves warm with a comforting and easy to make potato leek soup. Let's dive right in by giving your leek a good clean. We want none of the dirt or sand in our soup. It's gonna be a bit greedy and, you know, it won't taste good. Trim away the tough leaves, but do not toss them. They are a wonderful ingredient for your chicken soup. There's a link to my chicken soup up in the corner or down below in the description. Cut the remaining leaf in half, leaving the root intact for easier washing and chopping. Rinse it thoroughly under running water, getting between the layers to banish and discard all the dirt that's still present. Place it back on the board, cut it into quarters and dice it up. No need to be too precise. We'll blend the soup later anyway. Clean and dice up your shallots and after peel and evenly dice the potatoes. In a pot, warm up one tablespoon of olive oil. Toss in your shallots, season them with a pinch of salt and saute them until they become translucent. Add in the diced leek and a pinch of black pepper. Stir everything around for about a minute. Add the diced potatoes and mix well. Pour in 400 ml of vegetable stock, just enough to cover the potatoes. To amp up the flavor, toss in two sprigs of thyme, a bay leaf and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Stir everything well and bring it to a simmer. After, lower the heat to medium and let it simmer for around 15 minutes or until the potatoes are perfectly cooked. Check their tenderness with a knife or fork. Little to no resistance means the potatoes are ready. Turn off the heat, fish out the bay leaf, because we really don't want it blended into our soup, and grab your immersion blender. Blend to your desired smoothness. Whether you prefer it velvety or a bit chunky, it's all up to you. If you don't have the immersion blender, no problem. You can leave the soup as it is. Transfer the soul-warming soup into a serving bowl. Crown it with some fresh thyme and pair it with a slice of ripe bread. A quick note here, I wouldn't recommend reheating this soup. It tends to get a bit sticky and gloopy, at least in my experience. Enjoy the warm and cozy goodness. And if you like the recipe, press the like button and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. Check out my chicken soup recipe as well. And see you next time. Bye-bye.